All right. So just a final presentation for our project. Uh, over the last month or so, we've set out to uh, model a the quarter um, quarter model quarter car model of the, an active suspension system in a vehicle. And here is the, the system in question with the free body diagrams. Um, consists of two masses. Oops, sorry. Consists of two masses. Um, four springs, uh, two springs, two dampers, and one essentially located uh, control force. Um, that is where the control system, the actuator, the pneumatic the piston in question would reside. Um, equation of motions can be found here, and they are derived from uh, the said free body diagram. Um, so the linearization was particularly difficult as anything uh, that was related to second order linearization, linearization of a second order system, um, differential equation, second order differential equation uh, was usually relegated to uh, masters and doctoral theses and just really math that was beyond our, our level of understanding and capability. Um, but, uh, we were able to find a way to take out uh, mass and gravity out of here, which almost made it linear, or which helps make it closer to linear. And that worked uh, fine. The transfer function, where we were able to find maple, uh, there are four transfer functions, two for, uh, one for the body, uh, one for the tire, mat, uh, tire mass, which is M1 and M2, and uh, two for the actuator, uh, one for between the wheel uh, one for the body and the wheel, and one for um, uh, the displacement of the actuator itself. Um, here's the block diagram found in Simulink, which Austin did. Thank you, Austin. Um, stability analysis, um, which was done, and frequency response. Um, our response, our step unit responses. One was for um, uh, the body. One was for the suspension, and the bow diagrams. Um, so Austin, I'm gonna let you share your screen now um, and you can show your, your animation and the link stuff. All right. All right. Um, oh, there you go. You should be able to share now. On. Okay. Thank you, Austin. So, so here in MATLAB, we have the, the transfer functions that we brought over from Maple. We just use Maple to do all the, the, the algebra for the Laplace transforms. Uh, then we used, we'll hop over into Simulink here. Can you see that? Yep, yep. Okay, so, so here's our or kind of block diagram. Uh, each of these blocks is one of those transfer functions. So you have, so the, the body displacement, we are reading just for kind of a visual, we're actually comparing the, the error based off the suspension travel. So for the the output for the body and the suspension. You have two inputs. One's from road disturbance. Here we have a, a 75 centimeter bump. So that would feed into the, the body displacement from the road and the suspension travel. And then the, the force from the actuator, which would be from, from down here compares to the, the set point of zero suspension travel, feeds that into the body displacement and um, the suspension travel. And then you get your, your output from, from this scope here. So then up here are the blocks for the 3D model. So this is the, would be the, where the road bump feeds into the, the road surface that's modeled, which is here. 
there's a, a spring and damper system modeled between the, the wheel and the road. That would be like the from the tire. That's modeled here. This is the wheel. And then the main spring and damper system is between the, the wheel and the body is here. So then uh, I'll play this back over in MATLAB. So here's just a, just a simple block uh, wheel here. Start over. So, yep. There's the, and that's that's just the open loop response there. So that's why it why it keeps oscillating like that. Uh, if, if we had implemented that, this the uh, PID controller shown down here, up up here, then we could have expected better performance out of that. Thank you, Austin. Yep. Uh, that'll be all from group 11 of ME352 Dynamic Systems. Thank you for a good semester and have a good night or a good morning in our case. <laughs>